Buttons, what are you doing? What? You want to push the on button. That's okay. Hi, boys and girls. What? You want to say hi too? Okay. Button says hi to you. He's all excited because our craft for today has to do with buttons. And look at this belly of his. He's got one, two, three buttons that he is very, very proud of. He loves his buttons. And he likes looking in our special mirror. Boys and girls, if you were here for story time, you know that we like to look for friends in our mirror and Buttons likes to look. He loves this mirror. Who do you see in there today, Buttons? Oh, he says he saw Jackson. Who else? Quincy. Who else? Oh, and he saw Caitlin. Okay. Well, let's put our mirror down and we need to get started on our craft for today. All right, Buttons, let's look at it. Mm, buttons, we have a problem. There's nothing there. He doesn't know why. Do you think it could be in our craft box? Do you want to go check? He wants to go look. Okay, so we're going to pull over our craft box and see. Oh, it's so heavy. See what is in there. All right, Buttons, you look to see if there's anything in there special. Oh, he saw it. Do you like it? He likes it. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what he pulls out. Oh my goodness. So many things are in our craft box. Okay, Buttons, let's lift it up. Oh, boys and girls, look at this. It does have buttons on. Oh yes, now Buttons, you need to leave the buttons on the snowman. We had a story about a snowman named Just Bob, didn't we? So I think we're going to make snowmen for our craft project today. But first, Buttons, we have to do a little project ourselves that maybe will count. What do you think? Can we count? Can you count? One, two, three. You're right. You have three buttons. Oh, your ears? You have two ears. One likes to stand up and one likes to lay down. One nose. He has one nose. He has two eyeballs. Do you have two eyeballs? I have two eyeballs. Mine are covered with my glasses or underneath. And he has one tongue. Okay, we're going to pull out our project, our STEM project for today. Buttons, we're gonna set you right over here. Buttons is going to watch. Okay, he's gonna watch. Well, in your bag, you will get, boys and girls, oodles of cotton balls. What do you think you're going to do with those? If you put one cotton ball on top of another cotton ball and another cotton ball, do you think I can hold it? I don't know if I can hold it. I did it. I made a snowman out of cotton balls. Three. Do you think I could do four? I'm going to try. Can I do buttons? <gasps> Cheer me on buttons. Oh, no. I only have two left. Well, in your bag, you will have quite a few cotton balls. So I want you to see how many snowballs, cotton balls, can you put on top of each other? Can you stack to see how tall your snowman can be? <gasps> oh, Mine only got up to two. And maybe you could even see how many family members. So you might have a Bob. You might have a Bill. Maybe you'll have a Barry. And maybe a Brenda. I have a family of one, two, three, four, five snow children. But that's what I want you to do first with all of your cotton balls, okay? That's our little project, our little experiment. So you count how many cotton balls you have, how tall of a snowman you can make, and how many family members you can make, or 
our story was about friends. Maybe you could make see how many snowmen friends you can make. That would be great. Okay. All right, Buttons, you keep watching. Now we are going to see what our project, what our craft project is. I'm going to pull everything out and we'll see what all we need. What? Oh, yes, you're right. Buttons wants to help. Buttons is going to help pull everything out. He likes to be my helper. Okay. All right. I know you want to pull the first thing out. Look what this is. A jar of buttons. Oh, he loves them. He loves them. He loves them. Oh my goodness. We're going to set those over there. We only need a few. We don't need a whole jar. What else? Uh, scissors. Okay. We might need some scissors. We've got those. Glue. We've got Elmer's glue. And we've got a glue stick. Whichever we'd like to use. Uh, let's see. We must be doing some coloring. I have colored pencils. Do you like to use colored pencils? I have some colored pencils. I also have markers. So if you like to use markers, you can use markers at home. And some of you just might like... <gasps> Look at this. A big box. Help me. Buttons, help me. It's heavy. Oh, buttons, help me. Thank you. A big box of crayons. Do you like crayons? Button says he loves the smell of new crayons. Okay. Buttons, there's still some things in our bag. In our bag. Okay. We need some little pieces of material. What do you think that could be? Oh, you said they're scarves. You're right. The scarves. Then buttons. Do you think buttons would look good? This is supposed to be a hat. Uh, I think it's a little too small for buttons. Oh, no, we're not going to eat it either. So we have some hats. Hmm. White circles. What do you think they could be for? What? On you? Button says he'd like white circles on him. No, I don't think so. No, we need those. Ah, uh, toothpicks. Hmm. What about those? Okay, anything else? Buttons is looking. Mm, nope, he doesn't see anything. Okay. All right, Buttons. Now, I need my other hand. Is that okay? Okay. He says he's going to go into his, the craft container, our suitcase. Okay. I'm going to put him right in there. Okay. You take a nap. All right. Okay. All right. Shh. He won't wake him up. All right. So. In your bag, boys and girls, you're also going to get a piece of paper that looks like this. It has a tree on it, and a fence, a sun, a couple outlines for clouds, and some snowballs down here, and a lot of white. There is a lot of white right there. So what you'll do first, boys and girls, is you're going to color whatever you want on your paper. Now I started earlier, I started to color some of my tree. I was using green, so I was coloring some of my tree. And I did all of that. I colored my sun. I started to color my sun yellow. I like yellow for sun, or you could use orange or maybe even pink, whatever color you want to. And a fence. You can color that. Once you have that done, then it is time for making your snowman. So you're going to take these little white circles. And I tell you what, I gave you enough that you can make a snowman of three balls. One, two, three, and one of two. Or if you wanted to, you could even pull them apart gently, very gently. You're going to pull them apart if you wanted to make more snowmen, if you wanted more snow friends. So it's up to you. You decide. But I'll show you what to do with our 
three bellied snowman. So I used my glue stick. You can use glue, whatever you like. And I just, I'm gonna put it over here. Is that okay? I'm gonna take our finished product and I'm going to go right here. I'll put the one that we're starting on. And I am going to, right in about the center, I'm going to put a purple circle. I love this purple glue stick. And I'm going to put on one of my snowballs. Do you see that? And then right below it, I'm going to put more glue and make the other part of the body. Should I make them a two or a three? I wanted to say scoops. This is like an ice cream cone, isn't it? I'm going to put another scoop on here for his head. Color it purple with my glue stick. And then I'll put that on. So there I have one, two, three body parts. Now, what I'm going to do next is, while that's sitting there, I almost forgot. Pretend that I have all of my tree green. After I get it all green on my finished product, I wanted to put some snow. So I just took my glue stick and I put some glue on different parts of the tree. And then I took one of my cotton balls and I pulled that apart and I just stuck it on the tree. Do you see what I'm doing? Now it looks like we've got snow on there. You can do that to the clouds. You can put some snow, well, not snow, the glue, I'm sorry. You can put some of the cotton up in the clouds to make the clouds look puffy. You can do that if you want. You could even put some cotton balls all over the snowy field too. Whatever you would like to do, they're your cotton balls. All right, so we've got our three scoop snowman. I'm going to make a two scoop snowman. One and two. There we go. There's one. One belly and two bellies. All right. Oh, we've got a little black. There we go. Now we have our three scoop and our two scoop snowman. What should we do next? In your bag, you will see two white toothpicks and one that's a little red or a little orange. If you want to use this for their nose, you're going to break just the very tippy end. There you go. Break it off. Be careful. Have mom. If you can't do it, have mom or dad or big brother or big sister. You're going to put a little glue on that. And I'm going to have my nose right about there on this snowman. And then I'm going to take the point of this end and I'm going to put it on that one. All right. So there we've got our noses on our snowman. Now, what are we going to use for the arms? What did you say? You are right. We're going to use our toothpicks. So I broke our toothpicks into two pieces. So we'll have four, one, two, three, four, because we have two snowmen. So we need two arms. Well, we don't need two arms, but if you want to have two arms, I'm going to stick one of my arms right in there and stick the other one right there. How's that? Oh, my fingers are getting all gluey already. You know what, boys and girls, you're going to find out about me. I like to make messes, so it's okay to get sticky and gooey. That makes life fun when you get sticky and gooey. But always remember, you have to clean up your messes. Don't leave all your messes for mom or your dad or your brother or grandma. Don't leave all your messes lay. And you don't always have to clean them all up yourself. Just help. That is a wonderful thing. That's being a friend. If you leave a mess, 
just help and start to pick up some of the things. Okay, so now we have nose and we have arms. What's missing? What do we need to blink? Eyeballs, all right. What I used for my other snowmen were buttons. Yes, oh, shh, don't say buttons too loud or we'll wake up buttons. He's sleeping. There's a square button for that eye and a red button. I'm gonna use this red button for his mouth. I think that would make a good mouth. And I have another red button, so I think I'll use that one for this mouth. So you will get buttons in your bag, so you'll be able to put whatever you want on. And if you have things at home, maybe sequins or sprinkles or glitter, and you want to decorate your snowman, your bobs, you go right ahead, okay? You don't have to make your snowman look like this one. Not at all. Now, I'm going to put a hat on one of my snowmen. What do you think? The big guy or the little guy? Oh, I heard a couple bigs and I heard a little, just two said the little one. Okay, we'll put the hat on the big guy. All right, so I'm gonna put some glue up there and then I'm gonna attach his hat. We wanna keep the sun off of his face, don't we? We don't want him to melt. So there we have the hat. If you want to put another hat on the little one, you can do that too. Now, what else is missing? Oh, do you think his neck is getting cold? Okay. We can put a scarf on our snowman too. So put a little glue on your cloth. See how I'm doing that? Or you can glue it on here. Or if you use your Elmer's glue, you can do that too. And then I'm going to Stick that right over there. How's that look? Pretty good? Okay, so I think you've got the gist of it. All right, so remember, when you get your paper, the first thing you're going to do, your paper's going to look like this. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to color your tree. You can color your sky, your sun, the fence post. If you want to color some grass spots, you can do that, or some muddy paw prints, you can do that too. However you want to color your snow, you go right ahead. Do that first, okay? Then once you have that done, then you can put your snowballs, your little snow accents on your tree, maybe a little piece on your fence. If you want to do that, you could do that. Maybe some in your clouds. However you want to put some snow with your little cotton balls, just pull them apart ever so gently, okay? Then, what do we do next? You're right. We're going to put our snowballs on, our big white pieces, our white circles. And you can make them too high. But even do a really little one and just make one if you wanted to. You can make all little ones however you want to do it. We do that. Then we break our toothpicks for our noses and for our hands, our arms. Okay. Then we'll glue on our buttons for our coal. We'll pretend but you can use, when you make a snowman, I bet you use all sorts of things. Did you ever stick celery in a snowman? I think I did that one time. We didn't have a carrot. I think I put a piece of celery in. Oh well, it worked. He was probably a little hungry too. So you'll do that, put your scarf on, and then you're all done. You have your snow friends just like Bob. Right. And remember to be a friend. You need to be kind and always it comes from your heart. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I hear somebody. Let me see. Should we check to see if Buttons is it awake? Okay. I'll look. Buttons, did you have a nice nap? You did. Ah, 
Oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, he's sad. Didn't lie. He heard we were gluing buttons and we didn't get him out. <gasps> buttons, I'm sorry, but these buttons were so tiny, I thought maybe they would stick to your tongue. We don't want to do that. Okay. Do you want to say goodbye to the boys and girls? You do? Okay. What do you think of her picture? Pretty good? He likes it. He says it's good. Okay. So, next week, you come back again. Buttons will be here. We'll be ready for another craft. Maybe we'll make another mess. I'm not sure. Oh, ooh, I think next week might be a little messy. So, the messier, the better. If not, that's okay. All right. So, we'll see you next week. Remember to be a friend. We're going to what? Oh, what did you say? Oh, he said, be kind. Okay, Buttons, you be kind. You say goodbye to all the boys and girls. Say, see you next week. I know he wants you to be his friend. Okay, next week when we look in the magic mirror, Maybe we'll see you. All right. Bye-bye. Buttons is going to turn off our video. Okay. Bye-bye, boys and girls.